So Vivo has launched its new uh, devices under X series now. You might be already knowing that X series is all about uh, photos, all about camera. So X series are photo centric device and yes there is an addition now vivo has launched vivo x80 pro and vivo x80 now there are some changes in both these devices now in today's video i'm going to talk about vivo x80 pro 5g so if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and my name is pratik let's start the video so as i said vivo x series is all about camera it's all about uh, photo centric devices and vivo has done tie with zeiss so with x series you might always get zeiss lenses with that now in new series they have upgraded a bit uh, not a bit actually much because in this particular series they have not only upgraded in terms of camera they have upgraded in terms of features and in video mode as well so yeah you might expect much or you can expect much more uh, great photos or i would say uh, kind of dslr photos from vivo x80 series now start with basic specification this device comes with 6.78 inch 2k e5 amoled display now it has adaptive refresh rate which is from 1 to 120 hertz so now that is a good thing it is adaptive and apart from that it comes with 1500 nits of brightness so overall brightness is good and talking about the e5 technology uh, the power consumption in e5 is definitely less and your multimedia experience is going to be great because the display is 2k and it's amoled now talking about multimedia it has stereo speaker so yes it is it is going to be a great experience in terms of viewing angles in terms of sound quality and all so your overall multimedia experience is going to be great now in terms of power consumption as i told you e5 is more power consumption it consumes uh, less power now let's talk about battery now it has 4700 mAh battery and it comes with 80 watt adapter which is wired charge 80 watt and wireless you can charge up to 50 watt so that is a good thing now vivo uh, x80 is actually an upgrade in terms of battery in, because in vivo x70 there was 4500 mAh so 200 mAh is more in vivo x80 pro so that is a good thing so overall battery uh, is going to be good because in terms of hardware this particular device comes with snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor which is based on 4 nm architecture so it is going to be power efficient for sure now vivo has done one thing they have added an extra chip so which is vivo v1 plus chip now this chip is not going to help you in terms of performance but it is going to help you in terms of photo in terms of processing of the photos and videos and also it is going to help you a bit in terms of gaming I'm not talking about the gaming performance. It's going to help you in terms of increasing the frame rate. So Vivo has added a feature over there, frame boost. So what will happen is if you're playing games in 30 FPS, uh, it will add an additional frame so that your gameplay will be smooth. So overall, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is good and Vivo V1 Plus chip. Yeah, that is another a great addition that someone or you might be excited to see how it performs. So apart from that, if I talk about RAM, it comes with 12 GB RAM and it has LP DDR5. And talking about the storage, it has 256 GB storage with UFS 3.1. So overall, all the uh, flagship features are available in this particular device. Now talking about the flagship, it supports IP68 rating. So definitely it is going to be water resistant i would say not waterproof but yeah there won't be any problem if you use your device underwater i won't recommend it but still that is again a great feature to have now talking about uh, the os or the software of uh, vivo x80 pro now it comes with fun touch os 12 and android 12 out of the box now vivo has promised to provide updates for security for three years and for major updates for android again for three years so that is a good thing a company can do if you're investing 70 to 80 thousand in a device so these things are expected from the company so thank you Vivo, that you are providing three years of update now talking about the other feature which i liked uh, most in this particular uh, device is that it has 3d ultrasonic fingerprint sensor now in one touch your fingerprint will be recorded and even the fingerprint area on the display is much more as compared to previous generation so yeah you get a big box on the display in which you can easily just uh, place your finger and it is very fast so fingerprint sensor is good so overall the this device is particularly packed with features now i'm going to talk about camera but 
if you take a look at the features uh, yeah you have everything you have 2k display you have amoled display stereo speakers you have ultrasonic 3d uh, 3d ultrasonic uh, fingerprint sensor and even snapdragon uh, snapdragon 8 gen 1 processor is good and yeah vivo v1 plus chip is a good addition that we might see how it performs now let's talk about the camera which is the more hyped thing about the x series each and every time now if i talk about the uh, camera setup it comes with quad camera setup and yeah it has 50 megapixel main sensor it has 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor 12 megapixel portrait and 8 megapixel periscope lens yeah so that is a good that is a good setup and if i talk about selfie camera it has 32 megapixel selfie shooter now if i talk about photos from selfie as you might already know that vivo is always great in terms of selfies because you do get that uh, you know skin smoothening effect and also yeah overall you can expect great photos from selfie camera the only thing i don't like that it cannot shoot from 4k from the front camera so yeah it would have been great but i'm confused about that i'm not sure but yeah um, uh, the uh, specs i've saw i've never uh, i've not seen anything that uh, it mentions like it can shoot 4k from front camera so that is a thing i need to confirm but yeah it would have been great if they provide 4k in front camera as well now talking about the main uh, there is again an addition you can shoot up to 8k 4k and 1080p is standard now so that is again a good addition that you can shoot with 8k now i don't know how many of you might already uh using this 8k feature or something but yeah it might be a great thing if it uh, you know if the company is providing you that feature it might be handy in future i guess so overall this was about the camera setup now there are multiple features uh, which vivo has added now photos are obviously great in uh, x series each and every time so i'm not going to talk about uh, photos for uh, photo quality or something Color science is definitely an upgrade in this particular device. Now they have added multiple features in Vivo X80 Pro. Now talking about the first feature, which is uh, in main sensor, you do get OIS. Yeah, that is expected. Now, if I talk about uh, the new feature, which is they have added cinematic feature, uh, cinematic mode in Vivo X80 Pro. Now you do get that cinematic bars uh, on your videos, which will give you that cinematic look. Now, if you love shooting in those cinematic bars, then you might find Vivo X80 Pro very handy. So that is a good uh, thing. It will help you definitely get that cinematic footage. Now, apart from that, they have went a step further where with the stabilization now you might already know that x series has that gimbal thing in their camera so even this time they have included it the only thing is on in previous generation i think it was on the ultra wide sensor but in this particular device they have provided the gimbal in portrait so if you are taking pictures or you are shooting videos in portrait then gimbal will be helpful over there so you, you can get that stable image and stable footage as well again they have leveled up a step ahead in this particular device because they have included horizon level stabilization so if you have already uh, heard of uh, if you are if you are already uh, if you know this term uh, horizon level stabilization because i use gopro and they have this feature horizon level stabilization so what happens is that if you are shooting and for example if you are holding your camera like this and if you are rotating your camera 360 degrees the footage will be straight the footage won't move so yeah that is a very good feature i would say and this is definitely a premium feature in this particular device over here so horizon level stabilization is damn good thing now talking about other features there are multiple features in vivo x80 pro so they have went ahead they have included a particular log mode in this one so if anyone is shooting from dslr they might already know that there are uh, logs uh, s log i would say uh, so it is a flat picture profile uh, with which uh, with which you can uh, you know simply play with the colors in uh, editing and all so it is definitely helpful so they do have some luts in device itself so you can apply uh, filters or you can just play with colors over there so that is again a good addition in this device so it you know it is already a device you don't need i don't think so if anyone is going to you know compare it with uh, it with dslr because whatever feature dslr is giving you definitely this uh, phone is giving you i know it won't be great as uh, a dslr but definitely it's going to be helpful it's going to be uh, easy uh, it will uh, ease your uh, workflow a uh, very 
at very great extent i would say so yeah using those luts and all using those s log profile uh, vivo x80 pro will definitely stand out so yeah there are multiple features there are multiple modes and there is only one con which i find in all these modes uh, is that uh, if you are selecting any particular mode over there you will get a footage of 1080p only so you won't get that on in 8k or 4k so that is the only one thing which i don't like about this thing i hope that uh, vivo fix this and if there is any upgrade or something in future and if you get an option to use this mode in 4k then it would be a great option now so overall specs wise definitely vivo x80 pro is on the next level now one thing i forgot to mention is that it comes with 15 band support 5g band support so again a flagship feature so overall vivo x80 pro is a great phone it is not a review it is just an opinion in my opinion definitely the camera features are top notch and specs no doubt about that you have 2k display you have amoled display stereo speaker snapdragon 8 gen 1 and i'm repeating the same thing again i know but yeah it's going to be a good phone and let's see uh, how is the performance of this particular device in upcoming days so i'm excited for that i hope you are uh, if i forgot to mention anything or uh, if you feel anything about this device so you can write down all those things in comment section below and i will definitely try to answer it so i will see you all in the next one but if you like this video hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching